Insane Tuesday is back again, uh, continuing the golden handshake uh, for Hitman 2. I saved my game in case I screw up, because I've been known to screw up occasionally. Playing Hitman, yes. Imagine that. So, looking very ready for a job interview here. Approaching the reception desk. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I've been throwing up. Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? Yes, please. Uh, yes, let them know. I decided to... Sh I feel like a new man. I always love the subtle stuff. Right down here. Cool, yes. I decided to shave my head just to give myself some confidence. Okay. Don't worry. You'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be fine, yes. Uh, I'd silently pacify. <laughs> I'm not hitting with this... With, oh! Lock, stock, and barrel. I got a trophy. What is that? I don't know. Thank you. I'm gonna. Mr. Thomas, have a seat, please. Okay. Hi, yes. Mr. Thomas, good to meet you. I'm Kevin, and this is Melissa. We're both with HR, <laughs> and we will be guiding you through this last test. Okay. Test. It looks like hitmen with guns. <laughs> okay. I've never done this part. Okay. Oh dear, who is this master assassin on a psychological <laughs> level? Mr. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. Sure. Please pick the card that most conjures up the word opportunity. Most conjures up opportunity. Uh yeah, this one. This one. All right. Now look at it closely. Take a few moments. Sure. Then tell me, do you see an animal or an object? Animal. Animal. What kind of animal? A bird. An eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very interesting. A forceful animal. Anything else? It's feeding on something. Feeding? <laughs> on what? A carcass. A scene. Reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. Yeah, that's sure. That's, that's, why not? that's subtle. It's very subtle. Feeding on someone else's kill. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes, brutal even. Right. I'm totally psychologically ready for this. I'm I'm totally sane. And told to take the job at the bank. <laughs> not what we expected, but that's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's fine. Well, I would pick the one that matches the execution poster on the back. Me with guns. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'll pick this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is I can't tell if the posters on the background are supposed to, like, dissuade me from picking the things that match them. In a large coat. Perspective skewed as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I, uh, go on. He's on. Dual firearm. Could they be silver ballers, perhaps? Because that's my <laughs> weapon of choice. Uh, as a hitman, I should say, Agent 47's hit my weapon of choice. And who is this man? It's me. Very, very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Just matter of fact there. I wonder if, like, the posters in the background are supposed to, like, make me think of the wrong things. <laughs> so. Well, we have the one. Yeah. I've never had to do a Rorschach test for a job interview. <laughs> Neither have I. Yeah. Well. Yes. I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. <laughs> Bending the rules of the game. It's what I do. I'm, I'm, you know, lethal. Cutthroat approach and killer instinct. Puns! Wouldn't you say so, Melissa? That's a great great mindset to work at a bank. Allow me to congratulate you on your new position as an investment banker here at Milton Fitzpatrick. Excellent. When do I start? Well, aren't you an eager beaver? Well, we expect you to come in tomorrow at eight. Welcome on board, Mr. Thomas. You know what? If you want, feel free to have a look around the bank. You've got clearance all the way to the top. Get 
Excellent. Oh, don't go in the CEO's office. Thank you, yes, I'll see myself out. I got hired at the bank. That's hilarious. Uh, I still have to kill the CEO, CEO. though. <laughs> but, I, but I have clearance to get through the rest of the building. Yes, you do. So that's cool. She's above me. Too bad I don't have a thing that can shoot all the way through that. Let's see, where can I go? Let's go up here. All right. Well, congratulations on passing the job interview. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, okay. Let's go in here. Oh, wait. I forgot about something I wanted to do. I was down in the vault, and I completely forgot to do something. Well, you have the access to do it. I do have the access to do it now. Um, let's see. Can I go this way? Yeah, I think I can get there from this way. I don't remember now. So there's uh, the thing called the Cronkite Papers. There's uh, one of the missions you do, you can do for this undercover reporter who's here. Uh, and you usually give her the papers, but there's also a thing to put the papers on the desk upstairs so that the CEO sees them. And I'm going to try to do that. Okay. Let's see, can I get past these guys with uh, this? Now that I have clearance. Hi. Yes. Well. Yeah. Nope. 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 Can't. Nope. Sorry. Sorry. Trespassing. 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 I was told I had clearance. I'm sorry. I was sorry. told I had clearance. I had clearance, Clarence. All right. So I still need to be somebody else for that. No. <laughs> All right. I'm not. I'm not gonna try that one. I'm. I'm just gonna keep moving on. Because otherwise it's not going to get me in there. Oh, wait, no. Oh, hang on. What's that disguise? Uh, high, high security, security guard. guard. Yeah, all right. I'll try that again. You have to come back here for your other uh, disguise. For the, for the job applicant disguise. <laughs> That's the thing I love about this game, is like, oh no, let's change clothes again. Uh, I'm a different guy. It's totally plausible. I did a podcast uh, with Vincent E.L., the podcast that I do, Shameless Plug, IP Consultants Podcast. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so we take a look at IPs uh, that need consulting on. And one of them was the Hitman franchise and how the movies have screwed it up. Uh, they don't keep the earmarks of the games. And, uh, can I come in here? I can come in here. Hi, guys. Don't mind me. I'm totally going to go over here. I don't even have the vault key, but I'm pretending to use the lockpick instead. Pick up the Cronkite report. Perfect. That intel is a pile of papers containing a slew of incriminating evidence suggesting that the director Salabas and head of accounts Fabian Mann have been acting recklessly with the bank's money. The information can severely damage the bank's reputation if released into the wild. So now you got to go back up and get the job applicant attire. Yep, that's exactly right. I'm going to... Oh, not that way. Uh, do, 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 don't mind me. Running through with my briefcase with an illegal data core. Totally not illegal. I'm a dude who does some stuff. It tells me to not go to the CEO dressed as that way. So I'm going to go in up there dressed this way. As the security guard? As the security guard, because that's going to give me a little bit more walking around freedom. Oh, hi, Fabian. You're, you're a guy. Uh, let's see. Those guys are noticers, but I ran past them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... Turn off the wall so you can't see in here anymore. Uh, nobody's paying attention. I'm going to place the Cronkite report. Okay. She's sitting there. I could have uh, killed her through this. But uh, sadly, that's not 
Not a thing I can do right now. If I could get everybody out of this room, that would work. Fire alarm? I don't know if I can do that. Is she coming in here? She's coming in here. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, break line aside. Break line aside. Was oh, she noticing the Cronkite papers now? Yeah. So, like, she's been using all the different, uh, different things at the bank. That's so. She's been ripping off the thing. Oh, oh man. When the new bank took over after bankruptcy, it. Ah. <laughs> this is so bad for me. For like talking during this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this is what we're doing. We yeah. start, this is kind of the show. Talking and playing is not easy. No, it's not. See, there's supposed to be a thing to, like, shoot her through the mirror. And I can't do that now. So, alright, we're gonna try something else. That looks like the Cronkite report. Oh crap. Ooh, this from Banker. I'm not suspicious now. She's firing everybody. Yep. It feels so justified in all your actions. Run to the authorities and rat out those who are better than you. <laughs> I'm sure it's not matching the sound, but <laughs> we have the TV turned down, so it's like. So yeah, when you guys hear this, watch this. It'll be normal. I'm sure you'll hear, hear a little bit of the volume. Obviously, it's going to be mixed a little so that you can hear us. But yeah. uh, you're going to hear at least. You should be at least able to hear them. Mm -hmm. Right, that dude over there would recognize yep. me. Yep, he is letting every, getting everyone out of that. Getting everyone out of there. Alright, people are leaving. I'm hidden back here. Yep, everyone is leaving. Oh, I should be in the other room. Oh, crap. No one will check thing. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Shit. Oh, oh, I missed her. Damn it. <laughs> Where'd she go? What I should have done is gone through that door and shoot her through the wind, the glass that way. Oh, she is coming into this room, I believe? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Yeah, she's coming in here. I should have shot her through the mirror. Ah, dang it. I missed it. All right. What do I do now? Um, because she's in here and she's got a guard right there. Crud. All right. I think I'm going to reload a little earlier, <laughs> and we're going to try that again. Okay, I'm going to get her through the glass. I have to. I have to do it. It's got to be a thing. I got it. All okay. right. We're going to kill the damn CEO. I swear. <laughs> we're finally going to kill the CEO. I'm reloading from one of the auto saves when I just put the Cronkite paper down. So that's what's going to happen here, is I'm going to put the Cronkite paper down. I'm dressed as the agent so I can get back into the mirror when she goes in there. But we have to kind of wait a little bit so they really re realize that they, the thing has been put down. So, yeah, this is going to be a thing. Okay. Replace the Cronkite report.
and they're going to take a look at the Cronkite report. And I've got the windows blacked out already. Here, apple a day. That's good. Yep, yep, yep. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to skate past the guard here. He's not going to see me. I'm going to come over this way. I'm going to go in here. Do, 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 do. There's guards in there. They're walking around there. Picking up these commemorative tokens. You don't see me. <laughs> you don't see me either. I'm gonna... Oh gosh, no! They see me! Go, go, go! Okay. Alright, let's try this again. She's looking at the papers. I'm going to be spending a long time hiding in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they didn't see me. I'm in hostile area because hostile area. Do I have my weapon? I don't. Oh, did I unequip the gun? Yeah, you did. Oh, the. Oh, it's going to make a noise. <laughs> oh, this is going to suck. <laughs> I didn't bring the right pistol. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! In, in, in. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm a dummy. I unequipped the silver baller, <laughs> which is the silenced pistol. <sighs> All right, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> make do. I will make do. All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. She's over there out looking her window. I've pushed her out that clock so many times. <laughs> there's a there's another way to kill her that uses an award. I don't know where that award is. Um, I've not been able to find it. Let's see what's this. Oh, earphones. That's unnecessary. CEO key card. I can't poison her drink. She's not coming back in here. I could. I could pick up the sword and kill her with it. And I hide behind the curtains? No. That is a lovely painting. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh gosh. Uh, uh, running in circles. Um, oh, here she comes. Oh god. The guy the good the good the good can hide and <laughs> Alright. And this guy's gonna stand right in front of me. Look at that. Staring at his ass. She's seeing that they've... Found the report. Found the report, so she's going off. Well, you can take out this guy. All right, and then I'm going to take out this guy. Like the headphones. Strangling him with the headphones. Oops, non-target killed. Oops. Uh, you didn't mean to kill him. I didn't mean to kill him. Oh well. We're gonna drop him in here. Do we have a CEO key? Bartler. That's not the uh, weapon that I want, but it's the weapon that I have. She did, but you. The briefcase, the briefcase. Thank you for the briefcase reminder. Okay, I can get out of here. Oh, put the gun away. <laughs> Running around with a gun. Brilliant. Yeah, right when the gunshots get heard. Yep, they, uh, they heard the gunshots. And, uh, nope, you know what? Screw that. Getting out of here. Yeah, and that's the mission finished. <laughs> this might get tacked onto the end of the last episode. <laughs> But I did it! <laughs> I actually completed a mission! I only had to reload twice. <laughs> but yeah, I got her right through the window, that's awesome. Didn't even have to use the silenced pistol, I'm running around with a gun in my hand, but I was like, oh, quickly put that away! Um, yeah, three stars, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's much better than, uh, 
And I got all the mission stories now because I finally did the uh, did the job applicant one. So there, yeah, there you go. That's not bad. Uh, that took a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So this will get tacked on at the end of the previous episode. Yeah, all right, that's the thing. Cool. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. This was super fun. Uh, maybe next time we do a Hitman mission, I'll play it before trying to record it. <laughs> That's a, that's a good idea. All right, bye. Bye.